Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, let's see what's going on here with Capricorn for this reading. I feel like this card for some reason. Page of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Devil. We have the Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Mm, I love that, walking away from that Three of Swords. <coughs> the Hermit. I like this Hermit because it has the snake there and it's kind of shining the light on the obstacle because having to go into Hermit mode to really search out what is that obstacle and how do I get past it. So this is the future energy, the strength, and I love it. I love that future energy. That's very exciting. Um, okay, let's see. So we have the Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, direction confused about what direction overwhelmed I feel like you're overwhelmed by something especially with the because this is what you're struggling with especially with the seven of cups that you're feeling struggled with you're overwhelmed with something you have so much swirling in your head and I feel like there's a lot of negativity swirling in your head especially with the devil card there and you're 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 struggling with which direction do I go in where do I go from here all right, and then we have, I almost feel like it's getting yourself back on track and walking away from this Three of Swords, but like working on you. And then we have the Labyrinth is, let's see, let's see, let's get one more for this one. Okay, so we have the Moon and the Labyrinth. Okay. All right, so I feel like you're struggling with, like you have so much on your mind. You know, as, as I say, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. My brain is quicker than my mouth. <laughs> and there's always stuff going on and I always have stuff on my mind. And sometimes it's like you get so overwhelmed with these things and you have so much on your mind that you can't really focus on what it is you need to focus on because you're distracted. You're going in so many different directions that you can't focus. And that becomes frustrating and it almost builds on it even more because you're trying to get something done but you can't because your mind keeps going back to this negative energy, right? Or this whatever this struggle that you have, these thoughts that you have, or being scatterbrained or being all over the place and feeling like you can't focus, feeling like you don't have a directive, feeling like you don't have the path that you want to go on. What you need to look at is I feel like it's walking away from this Three of Swords, which I love that because it shows it right there, and kind of looking at, okay, what thoughts do I have that are productive? And what thoughts do that I have that are distracting me? And is there something that I can do to ease this, to start focusing on what I need to focus on? Is there something that I need to handle that I'm not handling? And so that's why I'm being distracted. Um, figuring out, kind of breaking it down, like I've said before, is breaking it down to pieces that you can understand or smaller bits or smaller pieces and saying okay what can I work with what can I not work with what is working for me what is not working for me what can I let go of like I've said many times before if you take that piece of paper and you write things down and you're like okay I have to remember this and I have to remember that or I'm feeling this or I'm feeling that and then if you're able to write all those things down and kind of get them out of your head so that you can know okay I've got them out of my head, but I still have them on a piece of paper where I know, okay, I can get back to it, that I don't have to worry that, am I going to forget that? But it also could just be looking at what is it that you're focusing on? If there's something that you keep focusing on, what is it? So I feel like over here with future energies, it's looking at, looking at that blockage, right? And saying, okay, this is what it is, and how do I get past this? How do I move past this? We also have the, um, 
the strength card, which is that confidence, and then we have the hanging man, which is seeing things from a different, different direction, right? Getting yourself back on track, seeing that this energy over here and keeping yourself in this energy is, is, is almost like you're working against yourself, that you're, you're, you're almost blocking yourself, you're, you're holding yourself back. So I feel like that, that's what you need to see. And, and what is this that you need to acknowledge and move on from? All right, let's get some more cards. Take a break. Stop, right? Make it stop. <laughs> Star. New. Love it. So we have... It's almost like, again, like I was saying with this process of figuring out, okay, what it is that you have to let go of? What is it that's bothering you? What is it that you can, is there something on your mind that you need to express? Is there someone that you need to talk to? Is there something that you just keep bringing up from the past that can't be changed? Kind of recognizing it and seeing what this is. But then we have this taking a break and stepping away. And sometimes if you just get yourself out of that energy, right? That if you're, you're in a situation or you're in a space and you're always in that energy, then you feel like you're trapped in that. But if you're able to get away, if you're able to, even if it's going for a drive in the car or going to a place that you like to go, even if it's maybe the, the local coffee shop and maybe hanging out there for a while just to get away to clear your mind. Maybe it's visiting with a friend whatever that is that represents for you, doing that and getting away from this energy or this environment where you feel like your head is feeling overwhelmed, that I feel like it helps to clear your mind and gives you that direction. Because again, the star I feel is the, is direction, right? Because the North Star and it's guiding you and it's, I feel like it gives direction. And then we have the Fool, which is zero, which is kind of starting new, starting fresh. Just He just has this little pack here. So it's just He's just keeping what's useful to him. And I know that sometimes that's kind of, it's kind of a hard thing to do if you're used to always being in this energy is trying to narrow things down and just focus on what's important, right? And just keep sticking to that, but realize, okay, if I start to get sidetracked, I got to rein myself back in, right? But realizing that, look at that, I love that. The Ten of Cups, how amazing is that? It's that freedom of feeling so much better and feeling like you're directed and you're guided and you see that if you start to get off track that you pull yourself back on track and that's what I was with this five of wands is like okay like it's not going to automatically just happen but it's this okay if you see yourself wandering and you see yourself going backwards like like I've said before imagine that circle with a line through it and saying stop like this is not the direction I want to go that's not what I want to do right? You take that kind of little pause and then you're like, okay, now I'm back on track, right? You're back on the six of swords. Now you're moving forward. Yeah, there's still a little chaos here and there's just still a little bit of stuff going on here, but you're kind of realizing, okay, I'm not going to stay in that energy for a long time. I'm not going to keep focusing on that energy. I'm going to move away from it. It's time for change. This energy that wants to come in here, it's time for change. It's time to be motivated that if this is what's blocking you, let's look at it, let's face it, let's deal with it, let's handle it, and let's move forward. And then we have the Page of Cups, which we started with the Page of Cups here where I feel like it's your, you're struggling and you're trying to get clear. And I feel over here you feel much clearer, like this Page of Cups feels emotionally feels a lot better, feels more directed, feels more guided, feels more like, yeah, seven of wands. Like, yeah, you're still going to have these things coming out here at you, but you're standing up for yourself and you're saying, okay, I'm, I'm going to handle this. I know I'm going to have challenges. I know I'm going to have things coming at me, but I know how to handle it because now I have this tool. I see that, okay, I get overwhelmed in this energy. Let me step away from it. Let me clear my mind. Let me block that out. Do I need to write it down and let it go? Let me get past it and then move forward and redirect. Sometimes it might take a day, a week, you know, whatever time that it takes. But if you're recognizing it and you're seeing it and you're saying, I have to do something about it, right? Then you can handle it. Then you know, then it feels like you feel more powerful because you're like, okay, I see what I'm doing. I, I see where I'm going. I see what's happening. And I can change it. I can fix it. I, I know what's going on. 
All right, so let's get, that's half the battle is trying to figure out like, okay, why am I in this energy and what do I need to work on and let go of? Let's get a wisdom oracle. Wisdom oracle for this reading. What wisdom oracle do we have for this reading? We have fork in the road. There's a fork in the road. I feel like this is something that you've kind of been going back and forth with for a while, that you're getting this energy and you kind of pull yourself out. You're not really sure how it happens or it goes away and then all of a sudden you're back. I feel like it's some sort of circle or cycle that keeps going around and round. But I feel like this fork in this road is, the fork in the road is, okay, I'm finally ready to, to, to not be on this carousel, this merry-go-round and going round and round. I'm finally ready to move on and to let this go. Realizing that whatever this Three of Swords is, is that it's not going to change, it's not going to be different, and that you're in control of leaving it behind, right? That you're in charge of leaving it behind and moving on from it and moving past it. All right, let's grab an energy oracle. We have walking away. I love it. That's, that's where I wanted to put the card, and that's the same thing, walking away. What do you need to walk away from? Walking away from the Three of Swords is really going to free you up. It's really going to empower yourself. In ways that you don't even realize. I mean, there's definitely many things that I've had to go through where, you know, it, it's almost like, like I said before, is that it, it was like my, I needed to be in this, this heavy energy. And when I realized I don't have to be, and when I realized, okay, if this energy starts to come on, then I can walk away from it. And I free myself from that, right? I'm not giving that three of swords, that power and that energy from me and letting it drain me. That I have the power to walk away from any situation, any mental thoughts, any person, any environment. That I have the power to walk away. Sometimes it's really hard to do that. But when you get on the other side and you've walked away and you've been freed from that energy, it's just an amazing enlightening feeling and it gives you that sense of confidence that you can't explain unless you've done it. And I feel like this here is, is to love yourself, right? To love yourself, to look out for yourself. You're in charge of putting yourself in energies and situations. You can't blame that on anyone else. The only one you can, can be responsible is for you. If you put yourself in that energy, if you put yourself in that situation, if you keep focusing on something and being overwhelmed by someone and you stay in that energy, then, then that's something that you've done. And, but you also have the control to walk away. So, and when you first start learning that, it's very hard and mentally exhausting. But once you get into the habit of it, then it be, once you do it on a regular basis, it, it becomes habit. We have grief, accepting loss. And I feel like that's accepting this Three of Swords. Accept the Three of Swords, whatever that energy is, that it happened and you went through it and it was something that went on. But accepting it, grieving it, working through it, letting it go, and then moving on. Walking away. All right, and then let's get an Animal Oracle. We have act as if is like putting yourself in the energy of having succeeded. What does that feel like? What does that feel like if you've actually walked away from this three of swords and you're not feeling overwhelmed and you're not in this toxic energy? What does that feel like? Even if it's just for a brief second and you're just, you're just kind of sitting there and you just kind of realize it and you ask yourself those questions and then you realize that and you're like, oh, that felt good. Even if it was just for a brief second. And then it's like asking yourself that again and then staying in that energy even longer and longer and saying, that's the energy that I want to fight for. That's where I want to be. That's what I want to have happened. All right, so let's get some charms. Oh, we have all words. We have protected. We have warrior. You are a warrior. You are a warrior. We're each warriors. Believe. 
believing in yourself that if there is something that is toxic or something that is not making you happy if there is a three of swords energy around you believe in yourself that you can change it being fearless right facing those challenges and not giving up all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time